Hello. There's something in my eye. My eye looks a little red there. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on my eye. It felt weird. <clears throat> but what's going on, man? Welcome to a new day. September uh, 17th, I believe. We're sitting here in the kitchen. We're preparing a snack. I'm going to go on a bike ride soon. It's my... My glorious return to the road, you could say. Um, I'm not planning anything too too outrageous. Probably just a two-hour ride. You know, you gotta ease back into your biking. You can't just jump back in there, do a 30 mile or something. So we're going in there with a the, with the intention of a two-hour ride. That's what I'm looking at. Um. So with that being said, I've got something to talk about. Yes. Now let me traverse my house real quick because I need to get back to my room. Oh yeah. Can I just say I hate washing machines and drying machines and things of that nature? Oh. We have a good place to sit. I think we can just sit right here. This is not a bad spot. I don't have anything to put this on though. I don't have a tripod. All right, all right. We got a candle over there. Let's use a candle. Yeah. All right. Now the candle you may be wondering is actually apple blossom. It's a fairly good flavor. I'm not gonna lie. Um. I guess we'll sit right here. By the way, do you like my poster? I love it. I like looking at. It. You know, generally when I'm uh. When I'm in the mood, I'll just look up at it like, you know, it speaks to me in many ways. But, uh, no. Oh! What's going on, man? How you doing? Cool. Cool. I mean, you know, it's good that you're not doing bad. Now, if you're doing bad, I'd be like, you know, I'd be a little disappointed. But yeah, I'm not. You're doing pretty good, so that's good. Um, but yeah, what was I, I was gonna talk about something. I was just reading something. Oh, reviewers. I hate reviewers. I love reviews. Don't get me wrong. I love watching reviews. But I think the idea of a review is retarded. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the Wind Waker HD review from IGN, and th the guy's review li literally is, there's like no flaws. He says it's like, he's like, there's, it's the best Zelda game, but put in HD, you know, which is good, which is good. He's like, if you never played the original, it's a great game to play. If you played the original like it, it's even better now. Um... And, you know, Wind Waker's my favorite Zelda game. I'm not trying to sound like a fanboy here or anything like that, but... This is stupid. This guy, like I said, gives it a perfect rating. He's like... You listen to the review, he says, like, literally, there's no flaws with it. I think the one thing he mentioned was... <clears throat> since it is an HD game, when you're in certain lights, namely when you're next to torches, the, uh... The way the shadow renders on your character makes your character look a little different. That's not a flaw, that's a technical limitation or something, you know. That's not any way, any way linked to a flaw with the game. So, if anything could be marked down as a flaw, to mark down that game re review, that isn't, that's not a legitimate reason. Okay. Now, the guy gives it a 9.8. A 9.8. Point two away from a perfect review of ten. No, get that shit out of here. Okay, I I can't stand the point five system either. But when you go point eight, nine point eight out of ten. It's fucking retarded. It really is. What does that point eight represent? Apparently, it represents a non-perfect game. You know. A game that close to a 10 should be given a 10. There shouldn't be a .8. How the fuck does that even happen, you know? That's like, 
If a 9.8 is possible, does that mean a 9. Point... Fucking 9.8. 750 is that possible too you know if you're gonna break it down into smaller numbers you know, why don't we just go even smaller you know because apparently that point eight makes such a huge difference you know 9.8 are you fucking kidding me that's ridiculous that's why I don't know like I don't want to say that numbers aren't crucial I think numbers can define things you know but it's like 9.8 you know, that's like if I was talking about, you know, trying out a new yogurt flavor and I gave it a fucking 2.74. You know, it's pretty good, but it's not the perfect, you know. That's retarded, you know. I don't know. I'm getting, uh, did I guys, did I tell you guys my plans for the Wii U? Um, I don't really want a Wii U right now, personally. There's nothing really on that thing for me, aside from maybe the, uh, the web browser, which I have a fucking smartphone. Um, I I want to try out the uh, the hardware the, and the OS on there. I don't care about any games on there right now. Um, you know, those games are built for co-op mostly. Mostly, like if I wanted to play Mario, I'd want to play it in co-op. I don't have anybody to play co-op with, so there's no reason for me to get it. Um, and of course, Nintendo doesn't know how to play or really. They don't know how to adapt to the new generation, so like, I would, hell yeah, I'd love to play the game co-op with online friends, but I can't, because they don't offer that feature to me, which is a shame, because I would, I'd use that feature, you know? And I'm getting the Wii U next week or the week after because it comes with Wind Waker HD, a game that I think Nintendo, a game that Nintendo knew what they were doing when they made the game. That was... Hmm. I don't know. That to me was the best Zelda game, you know. And I wouldn't say it's in like my top ten favorite games of all time or anything. There's there's just way too many games in there, but it's definitely one of my favorite Zelda nah, Nintendo games. Yeah, let's just say Nintendo games. Um, it's just I don't know. It's the only Zelda game that really that and Skyward Sword are the only two games that really try to branch away from his bullshit. Um, which was good, which was really good, but, I don't know. That, Wind Waker HD, Super Smash Brothers, what is it called, Galaxy, or U, Super Smash U? I don't know what it's called. The, the, the new Smash Brothers. I want that, I want Shin Megami X Fire Emblem. There's, those are the only two games I want. Um, Wind Waker HD, don't get me wrong, I'm going to love it, I'm going to have it it's on my Wii U, but... The only reason I'm getting the Wii U is because it comes free with it. So, hell yeah, I'm going to take a $50. It's, well, not only is it, it's getting a price drop from 350 to 300 but it's also coming with a free copy of Wind Waker HD. Which saves me money in the long run because I buy it eventually. And since Nintendo games don't ever drop below $40 or $30 or whatever, there's no way I'd wait four years to buy that game because it'd be the same price. So now, now is the most opportune time to get a Wii U. Maybe Smash Brothers will be out next year. Maybe it'll be out in 2015. I don't know. But I want to play it eventually. And uh, I need more RPGs for me to really support that console. It's just there's something about it. I'm not feeling it. You know, There's just no games on it for me. I don't want to play Pikmin. I don't want to play more Mario. You know, I don't really know. However, GTA, I'm over here playing this. Very good game. I like it. Alright, goodbye. Boop.